In this video, we'll look at some of the new features and additional features included with the very powerful DT oscillator. And that will include some new features on how we display the oscillator in the indicator window, as well as the new feature of the dual time frame uh, display and the dual look back period display. In this video, I'm going to show you two new and very powerful features of the DT oscillator indicator, and that is how in a single indicator window, we can have all the information of dual time frame momentum positions, as well as something brand new, uh, the, uh, the dual look back period momentum positions of the DT oscillator. In this window, well, first of all, I have 240 minute data of the ES showing and in the indicator window, I have just the DT oscillator with the 8533 settings. You'll notice from DT in DT7 a little bit different uh, visually in that we can now choose the color of the oversold and overbought lines and make them thin or thick, and we can choose the colors of the DT oscillator two lines, the fast line and the slow line. In this case, the fast line is red and the slow line is green. That's what I usually choose and that we set those as defaults. You can choose any colors you want. And the overbought line is red, which is what I usually choose. An oversold line is green, which I usually choose. Well, let's open this up and see uh, the new choices and features we have in the DT oscillator. So the top part of the uh, menu here of the settings looks the same as in DT6 and prior versions. The bottom part is different. So we have a tab for dual time frame and we have a tab for dual look back. We'll first look at dual time frame. So this section is the same other than now the upper and lower band. We can choose thick or thin and we can choose the color that we want for the upper band overbought or the lower band oversold. And the same in the two DT oscillators, we can choose thick or thin for each of the fast line and slow line, and we can choose the color of the fast line and the slow line. So that's basically the same settings with just a couple nice new choices we have. Now let's look at dual time frame. In the past, if we wanted to look at the momentum position of the higher time frame, we had to go to the higher time frame chart and look at the indicator. Well, now we can have in one indicator window the lower time frame indicator position as well as the higher time frame indicator position. So let's just put that information on the chart, and then we'll take a look at the chart. So I've clicked off show the higher time frame shading. I'll show you what I mean by shading in a moment. And I've chosen the higher time frame as the daily. Since our lower time frame is 240 minute, the next higher would be daily. So we can make whatever choice we want for the higher time frame. If we were to choose an intraday higher time frame, we can put in whatever number of bars that we want here. But since I have 240 minute data, the next higher time frame is daily. If I had 15 minute data, I'd probably put 60 minutes in there. So I choose daily. I've got one of our uh, default settings, 21388, uh, for the, the daily uh, indicator position. And that's because uh, for several weeks during this time period, that was uh, either the 13 or the 21 was the best settings for the daily. So 240 minute data, we have the 8533 240 minute DT oscillator going to show in the window, and we're going to show the position of the higher time frame daily momentum in the window. Let me click OK, and there we have it. So we have the regular indicator here, the 240 minute um, 8. 533 three indicator showing in the window and then we have the higher time frame daily indicator position so light red shading means the daily higher time frame is overbought the dark red means it's actually bearish during that period if it's green it means the higher time frame in this case daily was bullish if it's a light green it just means it was oversold so light red higher time frame overbought what does that mean we, we want to probably avoid long trades, 
and at least get prepared for short trades. If we're at some key support resistance, or in this case, key resistance, we might even look at a bear reversal in the shorter time frame as a setup for a short. Definitely, if we have the higher time frame bearish, as it is whenever this is a dark red, and we have bear reversals in the sh shorter time frame, uh, we definitely, that's a dual time frame momentum setup to at least consider a short position. Now, for instance, in this case, we had a bear reversal in the 240 minute while the daily was bearish, and we just went sideways to down for a few bars, and we popped up strongly. This happened to have been a news day. So it would depend on our other trading strategies if we took a short trade or not, but we'd at least want to be alert to consider a short trade. Now, needless to say, uh, the day before a major Fed report, we probably would not initiate a trade. So the next day, we had a bear reversal in the smaller time frame, 240-minute data, while the higher time frame was bearish for a setup to consider a short position. Of course, the market went down for several days following that. Uh, back here, earlier, um, during this all this green period, the daily momentum was bullish, so on any bull reversals in the smaller time frame momentum we want to consider long those certainly worked out pretty good and another long one so um, dual time frame momentum setups are we have them visually on one indicator window now boy doesn't that make things simpler when we get into the alerts the new alerts we have a dual time frame and dual look back period alert now so Whenever these dual time frame momentum reversals are made, we can actually have a pop-up alert or a text message sent to us. Then we can open up the chart and visually we can see how it is. So that's our dual time frame DT oscillator momentum uh, indicator window, which is new in DT7. And for me, it's just a, it's a great time saver not having to keep going back to the higher time frame charts. Now let's look at the dual look back period um, new feature that we have in DT7. Well, let's take a look at the same data. We're going to still look at the 240 minute ES. And I have the 8533 DT oscillator showing just as we did before when we looked at the dual time frame momentum position. But this time we're going to look at dual look back. Well, what do I mean by dual look back? Let me first bring up the uh, indi DT oscillator indicator menu and the settings menu. By dual look back, I mean we want to we want to uh, be alert to when two different look back periods are extreme, overbought or oversold. What I found over the years is that not only is the dual time frame uh, momentum setups very very useful. Uh, as alerts to filter out which markets to consider the trade, but also when two different look back periods of the same indicator, in this case the DT oscillator, are at extremes, overbought or oversold. So what's going to be illustrated in the indicator window is when both the shorter look back and the fast line of the longer look back are at extremes and the shorter makes a uh, bear or bull reversal while the fast line of the longer look back is either overbought or oversold. So with that, let's just illustrate it and uh, so you can see what we're talking about. Uh, we've got the short look back is the 8533 and the longer look back is the 13855. Uh, very typically, the two look back periods we're looking at. And we want the two look back periods to be fairly close together. They don't have to be that close, but they're usually relatively close together. And uh, I'm gonna click on show longer look back. I'm gonna click on our defaults, which is the longer look back, the DT oscillator two, which is the 13855, uh, overbought 75, uh, the oversold is 25. Let's take a look and see what that looks like on the chart. So our indicator window looks a little bit like it did during the dual look back period, except in the dual look back period, the higher time frame shading, there's always shading either overbought or oversold. Overbought it was light red or dark red or oversold it was always either um, 
over uh, our light green or dark green. In this case, it's not always shaded, either green or red. So what does this represent? It represents that uh, the green and, uh, and red lines are the 8533 indicator lines, just your, your basic indicator. But if there's red in the overbought zone, that means the fast line of the 13855 is overbought. If it's green in the oversold zone, it means the fast line of the longer look back is oversold. And there's a lot of periods when there's no red or green. No red or, or green during this period. And that just means that the fast line of the longer look back period is not at an extreme. It's not overbought or oversold. We're only consider, uh, considering or interested in when the fast line of the longer look back period is at an extreme of overbought or oversold. And why do we want to know that? We want to know that because frequently when we get both of the look back periods lined up at extremes, we have a very high probability that we're very at or very near a trend reversal. So let's look at a couple here, what we're showing in this data. During this period when it's green in the oversold window, the 13 fast line was oversold. We had a bull reversal and the eight look back, the little shorter look back period for a dual look back period set up for a long position. When it, the next bear reversal that the short look back period made, the fast line was not overbought at that position. It made it overbought uh, a few bars later, just for it looks like for a couple bars it remained overbought. And the shorter was bearish, so we'd only want to consider short trades, but it wasn't an ideal setup for a dual look back period reversal setup. During the next oversold phase of the 13, this little period right here, we had a bull reversal on the 8 for a dual look back period set up to consider long. And of course, the market went up substantially. Now, a few bars later, during uh, this dark red period, it looks like about one or two bars before the fast line of the 13 got overbought. We had a bear reversal, so they didn't coincide, meaning we didn't have a dual look back period reversal set up. But it looks like during this next little period, it lasted only for a couple bars of these 240 minute bars, the fast line was overbought and the fast line of the longer look back was overbought and the shorter look back made a bear reversal for a dual look back period set up to consider a short trade. So that's the essence uh, of what we have visually on here. And it's a real good uh, strategy to wait until we have dual look back period setups at extremes to consider long or short trades. Um, oftentimes, I'll have two indicator windows up. I'll have both the dual time frame. In this case, it would be 240 minute and the daily uh, indicator window up to show me dual time frame setups and I'll have the dual look back period and when the two of those coincide I want to I want to really be alert to the other technical positions of the market to consider a long or short trade uh, very powerful alerts to filter out which side of the market to trade and at, and if we're at or very near a momentum extreme and again both of these we now have in our DT alerts so we can we can set the alerts for any market in any time frame, and then when the alert's made, we can bring that chart up. We can visually see uh, where it's at in dual time frame and dual look back momentum to consider a trade position. So those are two new, new powerful features for the DT oscillator that I know you're going to use on a daily basis regardless of what markets that you trade. Be sure and view all of the DT virtual tour videos for a complete review of all the unique and powerful and practical features in Dynamic Trader. Also be sure and read High Probability Trading Strategies book, which provides step-by-step -step instruction of most of the trade strategies and trade management uh, strategies that we use in our comprehensive trading plan.
And DT owners have a complete series of getting started with DT videos and advanced charting and trade strategies videos on the password protected DT owners pages.